I think we should just stare at this for a good long while. Just stare at it. I think the card will talk to you. Does anybody hear anything? It's the 9800 GX2. It's uh, sick and disturbing, as a matter of fact. This is the fastest single card solution on the planet at the moment, at this moment right now. Not uh, in a couple years, if you're still watching this on YouTube in a couple years. It's fast. That's pretty much all I got to say about it. Let's go right into the specs on the beast. All right, 600 megahertz core clock. Now there's two cores, of course, and each one is like, it's like two 8800 GTs on the same uh, card and they've developed a special proprietary cooling unit here. This cooler is, uh, it's slick, sleek. It's kind of like a mixture of slick and sleek. It's sl slick. I don't even know where I'm going with that, but there is a patent pending on this cooling unit. As you can see, most cooling units, they you know leave the back exposed. This thing covers the entire thing and keeps it frosty cool. And also it is SLI. Let me pull this little tab off the top here. I know this one works with a second card giving you four GPUs in the same system. That's right, you can put uh, two of these in your computer and that'll give you four, four 8800 GTs in your system. And look at this on this side, HDMI on the actual card and dual link DVI. Now, like I was saying, the spec, 600 megahertz for each core and 512 megabytes of GDDR, GDDR3 on each core. And that runs at a double data rate of 2000. Also, the shader clock is at 1500 on this. And, um, you know, on, uh, on XFX's site, they say it's a 512 bit card, but it's actually uh, 256 bit per core. So, I mean, if you're, if you're a mathematician, I guess you could add that together. I don't know if that's legal. Are they, are they allowed to do that? Is it, in theory, I mean, it's, I don't know what the theory is. All right, we're gonna talk about this later, but right now I'm gonna finish talking about this. Uh, also, uh, we have 128 gigabyte, uh, well, that's the bandwidth, 128 gigabytes. That's, that's enormous, enormous bandwidth. All right, benchmarks. Company of Heroes, uh, running at 1920 by 1200, everything set to max. The GX2 is at 80 frames a second. Now I'm gonna compare that with the Radeon 3870X2. That one's at 73 frames a second. And the 8800 Ultra is at 50 frames a second. So yeah, the performance jumped from this to the Ultra. Uh, right there, 30 frames a second difference between this one and the 8800 Ultra. That's huge, because the 8800 Ultra, that thing was, that was king for a good, good minute. Bioshock 1920 by 1200. Uh, everything set to max, DirectX 10. Uh, the GX2, 71 frames a second. The Radeon 3870 X2 is at 72 frames a second, and the 8800 Ultra again is at 51 frames a second. So there are 20 frames a second difference between this one and the Ultra. 3870 X2 is a little closer, but this one's still to the king. Now, Crisis, I want to compare this one with the uh, GTX as well, because uh, the new GTX is out. It's over here. Whee! GTX, this is a cool car because you can run three in the same system. But, you know, it's all depending on what you want to do. I like them both. This is the fastest single card still, and this one produces, uh, well, this one, yeah. Nothing can compete with this as far as single card goes. So let's talk about Crisis. Now, the single card performance in Crisis, uh, running everything at uh, 1920 by 1200 on medium quality settings. The GX2 is at 50 frames a second. The uh, GTX, the 9800 GTX is at 46 frames a second, so it's pretty close there. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good race. And the 3870X2 is at 39 frames a second. So uh, if we turn it up to high quality, uh, this thing still is at 40 frames a second in crisis on high quality 1920 by 1200. Uh, for reference, the 3870X2 is at 30 frames a second and the 8800 Ultra is at 25 frames a second. So this thing crunches, it just crunches. So now the question is, do you want a system with uh, the single fastest card? This is the way to go. If you want a system that, uh, and you're running two cards, uh, I'd probably recommend getting two of these because uh, it's going to be extremely fast. And if you're thinking about three cards, uh, this is a really good way to go because this one, you know, of course, this one does tri SLI. This one is uh, dual SLI because this is this will be four graphics cards. This will be three in the same system. So sit down and ask yourself a few questions. Look at some prices online. Uh, know that this one still is the uh, king when it comes to single card solution, and it's going to be faster than any two cards if you put two of these in a system. That's four GPUs in the same system. It'll probably explode but I'm not liable for that kind of thing. You're liable for your own actions inside your own household.
And that's, and that's the more you know. Thanks. For more information on the XFX GeForce 9800GX2, go to CompUSA and type P450-9800 into the search box. Call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.